Everyday crafting moves to the kitchen, today on Hands On. Hands On is made possible by Elmer's Products, manufacturers of a variety of adhesives, arts and crafts, and office products for use at home, school, or business. Elmers.com Floracraft Floracraft Foam, make it fun. Makeitfuncrafts.com One of my favorite places to craft is right on the kitchen table, so we thought it was a great idea to include kitchen crafts on our show. I'm Candy Cooper, and kitchen crafting is especially good when you can eat the results. We start out with recycled food packages. Then it's a new way to decorate cupcakes. Then we're going to move on to some candy monsters. And finally, it's felted cupcakes, but they only look good enough to eat. So the best part of making recycled food packages is eating what came in the package. To begin with, this netting came from oranges, but you can find other fruits and veggies packed in this mesh, like potatoes. So take a look, I've just taken an orange bag and turned it into this really sweet gift bag. Let's see what we need to make this. So you'll need your vegetable and fruit netting, some funky paper, some tags, yarn, a little stamp, a stamp pad, a ruler, scissors, some embellishments, some scraps of ribbon, and some little rhinestones, glitter pins, and some decorative edge scissors, and some all-purpose glue. Okay, to get started, we're just gonna grab our paper, and you're gonna use your straight edge to make a fold. And this can be as wide as you want. Mine are usually about an inch and a half, and you'll see why in a second. So I've got a nice crease, and now you're gonna take your scissors and you can cut a wavy or zigzaggy edge like this. And it all kind of depends on the bag you're using. I'm starting out with this kind of tiny bag, so I've got a little piece cut right here that fits nicely along this edge. And what you're gonna do is just put a generous amount of glue on the front and back flaps of your folded piece of paper, like so. And then you're gonna put your vegetable net or your orange bag right in like this. And make sure that part, you can even cut that little metal piece off if you don't want it on there because the glue will hold the bag in place. And then what you're gonna do is find something heavy, like a can of uh, soup or something to put on top of it while it dries. And I've got one ready right here. <clears throat> you can see all of these different kinds of nets really make the, um, the bag fun. So I've got some embellishments I've picked out here. I've spelled out the word fun. Wait, my U goes like that, there we go. And got some sparkly stones here and some sequins and a little strawberry and you're just going to use the same glue to put your letters on like so. You can spell out the person's name, you could spell out party, you could spell out whatever you want. Okay and then can I fit my strawberry? Maybe I can fit my strawberry up here a little bit. And then you just keep adding things. And this is what makes it unique and fun, like the bag says. So I'm gonna put a green sequin down here. And you can layer, if you put a flat sequin like that, you can layer you know, your sparkly stones on top. Let's see if I can drop that down like that. And then you're just gonna set this aside and leave it to dry for a couple hours to make sure all your pieces 
are nice and secure. So the next thing, oh, and I forgot one last, how could I forget, one last piece. You can use these glitter pens to make some neat dots and lines. It's whatever you want and whatever colors you want. Okay, so let's, now we can set this aside to dry. All right, another thing you might wanna do while you're working is make a little tag so that you can write the person's name on, maybe a little message. And all I'm gonna do is just use this cute little owl stamp with some permanent ink. And then you kinda have to be strategic here because you've got your tag in or your ring in, but you can just stamp a little owl perched right on your gift bag. And then, now it's time to zip the thing up. So you could put some chocolates in here. You could even refill it with the oranges that were in here once upon a time, whatever you want. But you just put whatever you want inside the tissue, and then you're gonna wrap it up like so, so that you have a nice folded section on the bottom, and it's open at the top. And you're just gonna stick this down in the bag and trim away your excess paper, but you wanna leave a little bit, like so. And then I've got these neat little shoelace yarn pieces. And you can see how they have the little plastic ends. You could even weave these in and out of your mesh bag if you wanted to cinch it up that way. But you're just gonna lay this underneath and tie it in a knot. Where's our little tag? It's under here somewhere. And then thread your tag on. You can write the person's name. And this would be a great little bag to put somebody's birthday gift in or just a present for no reason. So let's take a look at the bag that says sweet. And you can see I've used my sequins and ribbon trim. And then another idea I wanna show you is are these cheese boxes. And all we've done here is just painted some glue and then just wrap regular sewing thread from the spool around and seal it with some more glue. We have a real treat for you today. We're gonna to decorate cupcakes. Here's what you'll need. I'm starting with these sheets of sugar for my decorations. I have some icing decorations and I have tons of sprinkles. The other thing I've done is I've put a food safe mat down because I'm gonna be using these special cutters. Now you have to be really careful. You do not wanna use regular scrapbooking cutters. These are st strictly made for food. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pull out a sheet of sugar and it's on this plastic carrier sheet which I've peeled away. I've assembled my cutter and I've got a heart. I'm gonna put my piece right in, layer it down, and then just make a quick little pop. Pull that out and I have a perfect heart. Then, oops, then I'm gonna move on to my second heart. So let's put this right back into my, cut, into my uh, packaging and I'm gonna switch and put a smaller heart inside, slip this one in, and then slip the heart I already made right in, give it a quick little pop. Now I've cut out a little heart, which I can save for something else, and inside here, I'm gonna peel this away. It's a little warm under the studio lights. I have another heart. So I've got one already on here, and now I'm gonna take some sprinkles. Let's see what color, let's do pink. And I'm gonna put a little piece of wax paper underneath and sprinkle my pink sprinkles in the center. Look how quick we made a cupcake. And we'll put that one on our rack. Okay, so let's go to a Rice Krispie treat. This time I'm gonna use a regular cutter. Let's move these out of the way. And I've got glue and I've got a sheet of yellow ready. I'm gonna pull my carrier sheets away so that I can cut through it. And I'll use yellow and blue. And this time I'm gonna make stripes. 
just like you, when you were using a craft knife, you want to have adult supervision with this because this is pretty sharp. But I'm just cutting little stripes. And let's get our length. We want to cut it about halfway. And just as easy as that, we're going to have decorated Rice Krispie treats. And these are all edible icing decorations. So even though it looks like paper, they're really, you can eat these. So that's really great. Pop that one out. Okay, so now we have a Rice Krispie treat. I'll slip that on here. Okay, then let's move on to the next one. On this one, we're gonna take our sugar sheet. This one has letters. So let's write a name on this one. Um, I'm going to write Tim. And then poke that into my icing. You know what? It helps too if you let your icing sit a little bit. It's kind of called crusting over and then it's easier to um, work with. And there's Tim. And he's going to get a football. And that quick, we have another cupcake decorated. OK, let's move on to another one. Let's put these back in our carrier sheet, or in our packaging, because we want, don't want them to dry out. This time, we're going to make stars. So again, I'm going to peel it away from the back, from that cardboard, and then peel it away from my carrier sheet. That out. It's so warm. It's so much warmer in the studio because it's because of all the lights. So it might stick a little bit. And let's take our heart out. Move that out of the way. And let's do a star. I'm going to be careful to make sure that the flush side is the one I put down. Pop that on the top and slide it in. Give a quick press. Pop out my star. Let's do another star. Pop that out. And I want to be careful to put this right back in my packaging so it doesn't dry out. Slide that in. And at home, you take time to and seal that up nice. And as easy as that, I have a star cupcake. Then, if you wanted to, you could also go back on your sprinkles. Let me grab the ones here. These actually have stars, so we could cut out the center again. Let's do that on a plain one. And put stars on it. So we have our star here. We can also go back and use a food writer and go over and darken up that outline. And since my cupcakes are a little dry, these stars may not stick as easily. Oh, they're doing okay. So we have a star design. So we have a star cupcake. So in the space of about five minutes, we've decorated six cupcakes. So have fun making cupcakes at home. Candy bars never looked so good. Paper wraps make the perfect party treat. Take a look at these little fellas I've got lined up here. They're actually candy bars wrapped in these cute little monsters. And you can even make them with candy sticks or pencil toppers. Okay, let's take a look at what we need to make these. You'll need some colored cardstock, your candy bar or candy sticks or pencils, or all three, some wiggly eyes, a hole punch, ruler, pencil, scissors, a glue stick, and you can grab the patterns from our website. So let's get started by making a candy bar wrapper. The first thing you're gonna do is measure the length of your candy bar. And this one's about six and a half inches. And you're gonna go end to end on your candy bar wrapper. And you can use any kind of six and a half, there we go. 
you can use any kind of candy bar, right? And these would make some really fun party favors, I think. Okay, so you're gonna line up your two points and then you're just gonna draw a line and then cut this down the line. And I've got one ready right here. Once you get your um, paper cut, you're gonna lay your candy bar down, face down, and then you're gonna fold the sides in and then just use your glue stick to seal it up. And just give it a light press because you don't wanna break your candy bar underneath there. And I've got something like this. So now let's add a little personality with some um, features. And remember, you can grab the patterns off the website. I'm gonna, I've already started by cutting out one of the arms and then you're just gonna trace this onto whatever color cardstock you want. You wanna use cardstock because that's a lot firmer than regular paper and they won't get all bent out of place. So I'm tracing and then we'll just finish it off like that. And then you're gonna wanna cut all of these little pieces out. And you can see I've got all my pieces right here, really easy. Okay, so let's get started with the top piece, which is kind of like his hair. And you can use your glue stick. I'm gonna lay this down on my other side of my yellow paper and put it right along the bottom. And then you can grab his mouth and put that on right about here because we need to leave, oops, I grabbed the wrong side. That's the neat thing about this glue is it dries clear. And so you won't see that. I'll just smooth it out with my finger and you won't see that once it dries. Okay, and then to make some polka dots, grab your hole punch and go down just a strip of paper. You can make as many as you want, but you can use, let's see, there they are. You can grab your all-purpose glue for these because you wanna just make some tiny glue dots. And then I'm just gonna pick them up with my finger and while you're at it, you might as well go ahead and add the eye. And then you would just keep assembling until you have your arms and your antenna like so. So let's jump over to making a candy stick. Okay, so I've got my candy stick and then we're gonna use, again, the all-purpose glue for the eyeball. Like so. And then we'll switch back to our glue stick because glue sticks are awesome for putting paper pieces together. And I love this purple one because you really can't see if you've gotten glue over the entire surface. There we go. Let me flip them around so you can see. And some teeth. But once this glue dries, it is clear. So you can see when you put it on but then it dries clear, so you're good to go. Okay, and then we need some antenna. I guess these aren't really antenna. Antenna are for bugs. These might be more like horns. I think monsters have horns. And some little triangle tops. And then you would add your arms like so, but what I really want to show you is how you attach it to the candy stick. And that is with these skinny little rectangle pieces. And you're just gonna flip it over and you can use your glue stick or your all-purpose glue here. And you're just gonna press that firmly on one side. And then you slide your candy stick into place and then We'll need to trim it a little bit, like so. And then you're just gonna add a little bit more glue and you want it to be a nice, snug fit. 
So how about making a group of these for your next party? We had cupcakes to eat, now make ones to decorate with. Plus, we get to learn how to make some really cool glitter paper. Let's take a look at what we need to make these fantastic cupcakes. You'll start with some glitter pens, decorative scissors, regular scissors, a hole punch, foam ball, three inch diameter, a skewer, pencil, some really tiny pom-poms, regular size pom-poms, cardstock in whatever colors you like, cupcake wrappers, white yarn, and a three inch diameter can. So the first thing we're gonna do is make some glitter paper. And this is a really cool technique. All you have to do is put, oops, I meant to grab pink. Put, draw your little two inch square on your paper and then you're just gonna outline your square and keep going and going and going. And then you can actually just use your finger to spread this around. And look how sparkly that is. Love it. Okay, so I've got a nice even coat of glitter paper. And you can do that in whatever colors you like. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and trace a round shape onto some cardstock, and that's what your cupcake is gonna actually sit on. So I'm just using this little, this is a neat little trick. I'm just using a can that's been, both sides have been removed, so it's hollow. And then I'm just gonna lay it on my paper, grab my pencil, and then you're just gonna trace around the inside. And then I have my circle perfectly marked. Next up is our decorative scissors. So check these things out. You can cut around your circle using these funky scissors to make kind of like a doily effect. Which a doily is just like a fancy piece of lace that you sit under things. And this just makes it look a little bit more special. And you would just keep cutting and cutting. And they make these decorative scissors in all different kinds of edges, like zigzags and scallops. So I'm ready to go there. The next thing you're going going to do is start wrapping your foam ball with yarn. And all you're going to do is poke the ball with a skewer and then tie a knot in the end of your yarn. And I'm gonna grab my all-purpose glue here and put some down into the hole And with my skewer, we'll lay the knot right on top of where we stuck the glue and push that down in. And then that gives you a nice anchor to start wrapping. So now you know what's next. You're just gonna wind and wind and wind until you get something that looks like this. Super lightweight. So let's go ahead and attach it to your cupcake wrapper. And again, you're gonna need your all-purpose glue, and I'm just putting a nice little bead of glue around the inside of the paper, and then you're just gonna drop that down in and then squish it up around the sides. Okay. Now it's gonna take a little bit longer for your glitter paper to set up, but I've got some that I've already done right here. And this is one of my favorite things, is now you can hole punch this into different shapes. And I'm just using this special um, hole punch that goes right through it. Let's see where it is, that, right there. I need to trim away some of my edge so that I can get closer to my dots. There we go. Let's see, where'd it go? Oh wait, these have a little container at the bottom. I knew that, okay, here we go. There, and I've got some ready to go and you can see how sparkly those are, really neat. Okay, so. Here's one that I've been working on. It's already dry. You can start by putting your pom-pom on the top. This is kind of the cherry on top. And then you may want to put some tinier pom-poms around the outside as well as your glitter polka dots. So I'm just getting all this ready. 
let's put a yellow polka dot on. And what these do is make for a really festive looking cupcake. Little sprinkle pom poms. Let's put a yellow one on over here. And then you would just keep decorating as you go. And then to finish off your doily, you can put some more dots with your glitter pin. And you're just gonna push a nice amount out and then pull your glitter pin back. Nice and easy. And you can just go all the way around. And then to finish it up, you can drop some glue onto the center of your piece and glue your cupcake down. And these are definitely going to be the cherry on top of your table centerpiece. That's today's show. Remember to check out the website and Facebook for more project instructions and videos. Next time, Hands On decorates your space. Hope you'll join us. Projects and ideas from today's show, plus hundreds of other kids' craft projects for every occasion, season, and even school subject are available on the web at craftsforkids.com. This is show 1406. A DVD set of all 13 episodes of Hands-On Crafts for Kids, Crafting Every Day, Series 1400, is available for $39.99 plus shipping and handling. Visit craftsforkids.com to order. Make crafting a part of every day with Hands-On. Hands-On is made possible by Elmer's Products, manufacturers of a variety of adhesives, arts and crafts, and office products for use at home, school, or business. Elmers.com Floracraft Floracraft Foam. Make it fun. Make it fun, crafts.com.